Good morning. Welcome to News Nation Now. I'm Alexandra Bush. It is February 6th, and here's everything you need to know on this Saturday morning. President Biden's $1.9 trillion COVID relief package is on the fast track in Congress, with both the Senate and House passing the budget outline yesterday, setting the stage for a final vote next month. Meanwhile, the Labor Department's January jobs report revealed yesterday employers added just 49,000 jobs last month. President Biden pointed to the weak jobs report as a reason to push his relief plan through Congress without Republican support if necessary. Freezing temperatures are set to blast the Midwest this weekend, just after another round of snow hit the region. This right here is video from Chicago. Some places will experience strong winds that will drive the temperature below zero. The freezing air is due to chunks of the polar vortex breaking off and heading southward into the United States, reaching as far south as Texas. The Pentagon is planning to deploy more than 1,100 troops to five vaccination centers to assist with getting more Americans vaccinated. President Joe Biden has called for setting up 100 mass vaccination centers around the country within a month. One of the five teams will go to a new vaccination center opening in California. The other centers are expected to be announced soon. President Biden says he does not believe former President Trump should have access to any intelligence briefings because of his, quote, erratic behavior. When asked about the briefings in a news interview last night with CBS News, President Biden responded, I think not. The erratic behavior Biden says he's referring to unrelated to the riot at the U.S. Capitol on January 6th. The son of Kansas City Chiefs head coach Andy Reid is under investigation and connected in connection with the crash that left a five-year-old child in critical condition. Investigators say Britt Reid smelled like alcohol when they spoke with him after the crash Thursday night. They say he ran into another car from behind. It happened not far from the Chiefs stadium. Authorities say Reid told police officers that he had two to three drinks. He has not been charged. Investigators are waiting for results of his blood sample. A statement from the Chiefs organization says they're still investigating and gathering information on the crash at this time. And trending this morning as Americans get ready to watch the Super Bowl tomorrow, the mayors from each team city are placing their own bets. Tampa Mayor Jane Castor said she'd offer up hand-rolled cigars and beer to Kansas City Mayor Quinton Lucas if his team loses the game. Win or lose, each mayor is treating the other with food representing the best of their cities. The Tampa mayor says she'll send seafood. As for Kansas City, the mayor promised to send some of their famous barbecue. Sounds like a win-win. Also happening today, the Kansas City Chiefs will arrive in Tampa ahead of the Super Bowl tomorrow. For now, I'm Alexandra Bush. Thank you so much for watching News Nation. Now stay with us throughout the day for breaking news coverage here on our app and website. Plus, be sure to tune in tonight's News Nation broadcast at 8, 7 central on WGN America. Start your morning with News Nation. Top headlines and trending stories delivered straight to your inbox for free. Go to newsnationnow.com newsletter to sign up.